Hello friends, in this video we will discuss the orthographic projection of this object. So this object was already discussed in manual drawing. So drawing is available in the playlist of orthographic projection. So its uh, calculation was already discussed. Like, uh, this dimension is 60, 30 is for this dimension. This is thickness 20 mm. This is 50 mm dimension. This is 40 mm. Means this dimension is 10 mm. Thickness of this rib is 10 mm. Height is 50. Pi stands for diameter. Diameter 30 and outer one is radius 30. This dimension is 25. So, ये मैंने already explain किया था orthography projection में. Here we'll draw this in AutoCAD. So let's draw the top view first. So I will start this drawing from this point. First I'll draw the straight lines and then we'll prepare the semicircle and circle. So select the line here. So from this point I will start. So here to here it is 25. Specify first point. So I will start my drawing from here. In first angle projection we'll draw this. First I'll draw 25. Enter. Now after 25, next I want 50, enter, after 50, this dimension, this is 60 minus 30, so means this margin is 15, 15 both sides, this is, let's say 15, this dimension was 10 mm, now this is 30, this is again 10 mm, this one. Total length 50 minus 40, so this is 10 mm. 10. Now this is 15. Enter. Now this one is 50, 50. Enter. Now we have to extend 25. Enter. Now you can press escape button. So we have prepared this boundary. This is 25. This one 25, then 50, 30, and 60. Now we'll prepare this line at the distance of 25. Here, end point is there. Yes, this one. If end point midpoint is not showing, I have already prepared one video. I have uploaded three videos on the basic settings. So please go through the videos. If you have setting me problem, uh, coordinates nahi show kar raha hai, midpoint end point nahi show kar raha hai, objects na polar tracking mein agar koi problem hai, to please meri videos dekhi, three videos I have uploaded on the basic settings. Now let's draw the circle and semicircle. So first we'll draw the arc with start and radius. This one is start and radius. So it will prepare the arc in anti-clockwise direction. So this is the it is asking specify start point of the arc. So this is the start point. Click here. First click. Specify end point of the arc. So here do the second click. Now move your cursor. It is asking specify radius of arc. So radius is 30. Type 30. Enter. Now we'll draw this inner circle of dia 30. So go through this option center and diameter. Once you will touch this arc, so it will show you the centroid. Click here, move your cursor outside. It is asking specified diameter of circle. So diameter is 30, enter. Now in the top view, in the top view, this one is rib 30 mm, sorry, uh, 10 mm thickness. First, we will draw one line here at the center, midpoint of the line. If the midpoint is not showing, please watch the first video of the AutoCAD, the basic settings. Now, I will use the offset command. Offset, enter. So, thickness of the rib is 10 mm, means 5 above and 5 below. So, specify offset distance, 5, enter. Specify, select the object, select the object. Click on this side, again select the object, move your cursor downside and click here. Now you can simply delete this line. Let's check the dimension. 
go to measure option so you can see this is 50 this is 25 outer one is radius 30 inner one is radius 15 this is 10 mm 40 mm 15 this is 30 right all the dimensions are now okay so this is the top view of the object now we will draw the front view of the object just let's move this object little bit downside here do the first click click one cover the object do the second click now press enter now it is asking specify base point to so anywhere you can pick the object let's say this is the base point you can pick this object from here so as per first angle of projection if this is the top view in this area we have to draw the front view here we have to draw the front view as per first angle of projection if you have any doubt in theory part please go to the playlist of the orthographic projection now let's draw the reference line at the distance of 10 mm I'll repeat this again select the line yes. it is asking specify first point you can draw the reference line here or simply you can start the front view in the front view the height at this corner is 20 this point is very important place your cursor here move your cursor type the gap that you want to take let's say 10 type 10 enter at 10 mm distance the line has been started so this line is this line is equal to this length place your cursor here don't click here click nahi karna just place your cursor here take the projection now intersection is there so the total length is 105 now height of the object on the left side is 50 type 50 enter now the length of this part it is equal to this one place your cursor here simply cursor place kare pe one second and move it vertically upward now come to downside so this dimension will be 30 mm total height is 50 and base thickness is 20 now we'll move to this side so we want the length equal to this so place your cursor here move your cursor upside then this one so this is the front view only one thing is missing here this line so this line will be here like at the distance of 10 mm let's take the offset offset enter 10 enter 10 mm this line should be a hidden line because from the front view this portion will not be visible so this line will be a hidden line I will convert this in a hidden line later on let's draw this rib part this drawing is all avail uh, already available in orthographic projection with explanation here I will only explain the AutoCAD how to use the AutoCAD commands so few more lines are hidden here this circular hole is hidden in the front view so let's take the projection it was not showing intersection so you can click it outside also no problem is there take the projection of this edge also so it is not showing intersection but here it is showing intersection here also it is not showing intersection no problem just click outside so with the help of projection we have prepared this you can see it again how I'm doing this click on the line either you can trim this or simply you can click on the end point and then move your cursor you can trim this also so now 
let's convert these lines in the hidden lines dash type line is used to represent the hidden edge of the object go to bilayer option other option load option scroll this here we have dashed line okay then okay now select these lines which you want to convert in dash line one more thing is there the dash line is very magnified here so we'll change the magnification level go to other option again here this option will be there show details high details here reduce the magnification let's say it is 0 0.25 Now this is the front view, front view and top view is over. Now we'll draw its side view. So for side view, this is the right place. As per first angle of projection, here we'll draw the side view. Because it's a right side view, so it should be on left side. So from here I'll start. Just place your cursor here, don't click. Just place your cursor here. Take gap of 10 mm, enter. Here you can start the drawing. So in the side view, here three rectangles will be there. This is 15, 30 and 15. So first type 15, enter. 15 mm line is ready now. Now this is 30, enter. 30 mm is there. Now again 15, enter. Now the height is 20 enter you can see this is sorry it's a 17 mm no 20 mm it's showing 20 mm it's exactly correct absolutely correct now this one place your cursor here move it upside 15 this is the first rectangle now next one is See, you can prepare it anyway. You can use the offset command also. If you want to see the offset command, I'll also show you now. This is 30. Now again, you can use the line command. This is 20. Now this is the base. So you can use the offset command also. It's your wish that how you are preparing the drawing. Now let's prepare the total height of the object. This one is 30. This one is equal to 60 mm. Now this one. Only rib part is missing. This triangular part is a rib part. So select the line. Move your cursor here. Draw the midpoint. Draw a li uh, line at the center. So rib thickness is 10 mm, so we'll use the offset command here. Type 5, enter. Because it will take 5 left side, 5 right side. Just click on this line. Now right side. This is a rib part. So here, circular hole is hidden. That is of radius 30. So here we can draw one line which will convert in hidden line. Dash type of line will be used to represent the hidden edge of the object. Let's convert this line in hidden line. Because from the side view this line will be hidden line. So now this is the front view, top view and side view of the object in first angle of projection. Right? Let's convert this in thick line also. Do first click. Cover the object. Do the second click. Go to bilayer option. 0 0.3. Escape button. Here it is not showing the thick line. Just go to this option. LW display. If this option is not there, if you don't have this option, you go to customization option. Here you will get this option line weight. 
let's change the line weight of the dash line it should be half of the object line so one more question can we convert this in third angle of projection yes so let's convert this in third angle of projection go to move command do first click cover the object do second click press center it is asking specify base point so let's select this one as a base point press the scroll button of mouse or simply you can use the pan command also here we can use the pan command in between the ongoing command press escape now so here we will place this so this is front view top view is at top and the right view should be at right of front here you can draw the center line sorry of uh, reference line now let's discuss the dimensioning of the object and center lines go to annotate you have this center cent mark center click on the circle it will represent the center of the object in the annotate this option is also there center line so select this line this line it shows the center of the circular hole it will represent the center of the rib it will represent now you can take the center of the whole object here whole side view you can extend this line click on this line extend it press escape so this is third angle of projection this is a drawing in third angle of projection now let's do the dimensioning of this object in dimensioning you can go for quick dimension this was the length of let's convert this line also in 0 0.5 0 0.15 so here we can write the dimension of the object from here to here 50 then 25 we can go for quick dimension here if you are facing any problem in dimensioning like dimensions are not showing so you can go to the third video of AutoCAD which I have uploaded if it is not working don't worry you can go to linear option this is 25 radius you can click here it will show you the radius you can increase the text height arrow size in dim style I have already explained it in one of the video dia 30 linear dimension you can just write this dimension also this is 30 click on the first point do the second click this is 60 thickness of the rib you can write it inside of the object or here also space is there you can write try to write the dimensions outside let's write the height of the object from here to here this is 20 click on the first point second point this height is 50 so in this way you can do the dimensioning right if you have any doubt or any question you can just post your comment i'll answer you please subscribe to the channel